Now we're going to go after a messier trinomial. This one, you can see what the difference is. Um, look right here. I've given it a number that is not just the number one. A trinomial with a leading coefficient of one is called monic, which I suppose means easy in Latin or something. I don't know. But when it doesn't have the number one right there, it's more difficult. So there are other techniques you can use to factor this one, but I really like to just stick with the big X. We're going to see that it's actually not so bad. There's just a couple of extra steps you have to do. Two extra steps, and everything's going to be just fine. So let's keep on going with the big X as we were used to before. We're going to follow the same first steps. And I'm going to start by multiplying uh, the last and first terms together to get negative 24. Okay? And then I want to uh, just take that middle term and drop that down to the bottom. So now I have the top and bottom of the big X, and we need to figure out the sides. Well, just like before, you need to figure out factors of negative 24, which add up to positive 2. So I'm going to put my negative 24 over here. And what do we have? We have negative 24 and 1, negative 12 and 2, negative 8 and 3, uh, negative 6 and 4, negative, I think, uh, negative 4 and 6, negative uh, 3 and 8, there's a lot in this one. Negative 2 and 12 and negative 1 and 24. Okay, there's all my factors. And if you look over the list, try to add them up to 2. You'll see there's only one that works. There only ever will be one that works. It's uh, this guy right here. Negative 4 and 6. So, simply place uh, those factors over here. I'm going to do positive 6 and negative 4. It doesn't matter what order you do. And now, go ahead and put those into the parentheses, just like we're used to before. So we have x starting off on the left, and then we have this plus 6 and a minus 4. Now, if you check and try to multiply all this stuff together, you're going to see this doesn't work. Okay? Uh, for one thing, x times x is x squared, not 8x squared. Uh, for another, 6 times negative 4 is not negative 3. So we have to keep going there's another step involved, and that's where we're getting into this new stuff. So what I want to do is take this 6 right here and this 4 over here, and I'm going to divide them by the leading coefficient, that 8 that was making our lives difficult from the start. We're going to divide it by 8. Don't worry about why. Just go ahead and do this. And now let's simplify the fractions. Okay. Uh, we're going to get... Oops, we're going to get x plus, looks like, 3 quarters right here, and x minus 1 half. Now, if those fractions simplify all the way, and it's just a whole number, great, leave it. But if it does not simplify all the way, what we do at this point is we take the denominator that's left over, and we move that in front of the x. And you do that for both of them if you need to, or only one. Uh, sometimes you'll only have one that needs it. So what this is going to turn into is 4x plus 3 and 2x minus 1. There's algebra reasons why that this works, uh, which would also push this into like a 15-minute long video, so we're not going to get into that. One thing I just want to do at the end is double-check our work. It's always a good idea to double-check and just make sure you did everything right. So 4x times 2x is going to be 8x squared. 4x minus 1 is negative 4x, 3 times 2x is positive 6x, and 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. We combine the like terms, x squared plus 2x minus 3. I sure hope that's right. Yep, there we go. Right there. Okay, so this is how you factor a trinomial with a leading coefficient that is not 1. We just add these two steps to our game.